Sup, it's Poger. How you guys doing? So right now I'm playing Altered Beast in the Genesis, and the game was never anything special, but it showed off the true power of the Sega Genesis with all those big sprites and parallax scrolling. Plus, playing as a werewolf is actually pretty chill. There was not yet any Sonic to define the Genesis yet, so this is all we had. Remember the commercial? Genesis does? Well, it does something, we just didn't know what yet. The idea of turning into a werewolf would soon be done on the NES as well, called Werewolf. Now already, I'm excited, and the box art looks awesome. Could this be a hidden gem? Let's find out. You start off in human form, and you kinda look like Simon Belmont or maybe even Jesus Christ. And in normal human form, you can fire projectiles. Wait, what does that say? No? Alongside punching and jumping. What a weird weapon. Imagine how that plays in, during a fight. No! 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 And then of course you can also super jump by pressing both B and up, allowing you to jump a little bit higher. Now as a werewolf, you actually lose the ability to fire projectiles and are forced to punch, but with the trade off of more power and being able to jump even higher. And the actual transformation to werewolf looks pretty epic. Now that was pretty cool. And you can also transform into Super Werewolf by collecting these bubbles to boost your anger meter. And it's awesome. Like look how high you can jump now. But they ended up making it pretty lame because the transformation is only lasts for 60 seconds. Why only 60 seconds? I say screw all that. There's actually a way around that. So first off, punch this sign right here and then walk to the right until right about here and then walk back and punch the sign one more time, you'll be able to come Super Werewolf infinitely. Yeah, yeah now this is what I'm talking about. So as you can see, you get quite a few abilities, which makes this game kinda cool. The Super Werewolf ability is also much appreciated because being able to jump higher is nice and can be used in some of those later stages. Unfortunately, however, the good news ends here. The controls are broken beyond belief. You ever play Mario where A is to jump and B is to run? Most games after Super Mario Bros. followed that exact same rule, but now we have Werewolf the Last Warrior who apparently is too epic to have convenient controls and decided to make B to jump instead of A. Why do that? Climbing walls is kinda cool, but it's very broken. You can reach spots you normally can't, but Werewolf cannot climb onto ledges. Why not? That's ridiculous. Instead, you have to do an awkward jump on the platforms when you reach the top. You also cling onto everything. Like, what reason do I have to climb on this weird pillar thing? It slows down the gameplay when you're constantly climbing onto stuff by mistake. I mean, compare this to Sonic. When you play as Knuckles, you can't cling onto everything, and it's also a lot easier to control, and it's a more fun experience. You have the ability to double backflip, allowing you to not take damage when necessary, and it actually looks kinda cool too. Sometimes if there's too much stuff going on in the game, you can double backflip as a way to prevent death. But the major flaw with it is that the screen locks whenever you do it, meaning that you cannot see in front of you. That is a huge flaw. Some parts also require you to backflip. For an example, these electric fences, they're impossible. What am I supposed to do? Like, I don't get this. There's no pattern or anything, they just keep coming. Like, dude, this is ridiculous. Okay, let's try again. This is awful! So we got this heart thing, that's gonna make it a little easier. Punching some boxes, looking for some W's here. Ah, uh, here we go. Now I can just backflip my way out of here. <laughs> Look how easy that was. I mean, compared to how much trouble I was having before, now it's easy. The final boss, although he is easy, he has this electric attack that can't be avoided. You need Werewolf's backflip in order to dodge it. Now that's pretty lame if you ask me that you can't be in human form in order to beat the boss. That'd be like if you had to be Big Mario in order to beat Bowser. That's dumb. 
the graphics give the game a decent amount of variety. We're on top of a building, in front of a waterfall, in a downtown area. Some of the rocky stages also look extremely well done and the waterfall is extremely well animated. In a werewolf form, your character looks alright, but he's got nothing on the werewolf from Altered Beast. I mean, he looks so cool when he ducks, and jumping looks way better, like he's an actual beast. Look at how he jumps in this game though, he looks so stupid. In Altered Beast, this guy's the life of the party. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm a stud. But in Werewolf, he's like the guy that everybody makes fun of. He's like, duh. Outside of the Werewolf transformation, the cutscenes are bad. Most of them are reused numerous times in the game. Like every time you beat a stage, you see this. That's lazy. A lot of the text and colors used in most of the cutscenes are very washed out and hard to see. Like, why use dark green text on a black background? But despite all that, the graphics are pretty good. The game can be difficult, but for the wrong reasons. Rather than challenge, the difficulty surfaces because of bad level design and poor controls. The game features a few areas where there's cheap deaths. In this stage, for example, there's a spot where you can either jump up here and walk this way, or you can go down. If you choose up, you'll fall on the spikes and die. That's ridiculous. Now anyone that's ever played Werewolf knows how difficult the waterfall level is. In the cutscene, you're warned about the Werewolf's biggest enemy being water. It's not kidding. There's so many enemies and projectiles that will knock you right in the water. This is definitely the hardest stage in the game. Alright, we're gonna do this Let's Play style. Okay, so we can agree that was my fault. <laughs> so these fishes are the worst. Whoa, that was close. These things get in the way. Okay, there we go. This is impossible! Okay, let's try again. Like seriously, like I don't get how I'm supposed to do this. These logs are the worst. Alright, I'm already getting tired of this. Alright, so I started the game over, so now I'm werewolf again. Alright, I'm done. That's all I can handle. One more time. I have no speech. Well, now that we're on this screen, let's discuss how the lives work in this game. You actually don't get any, you get continues instead, I believe three or four altogether. And when you run out of continues, the cursor will select continue for like a split second and then reselect end. What a tease! Originally, I thought there was something wrong with my controller. Yeah, like it was something wrong with like the buttons or something. Don't program the game to do that. Just show game over. Um, what just happened? <laughs> what? Well, that confirms that. I wonder if I can finish the level this way. Nope, I guess not. Despite all that, the boss is super easy. Doesn't it seem kind of unbalanced that after we break our thumbs trying to beat one of the hardest games on NES, we're treated to a pushover of a boss? And their patterns are normally very easy to figure out. Check this out. Is this some kind of joke? Let's see how hard the final boss is. Wow, I'm breaking out of sweat over here. Well, 
like, seriously, this is the final boss? This game does have good music, but there just isn't enough variety of music in this game. There are two different tracks depending on if you're in human form or werewolf form, and there's also different music for the bosses too. The music that plays during the werewolf form is great for the beginning of the game, but it would appreciate it if there were more tracks that better matched the later stages. And then there's also no music exclusively for super werewolf form, which really would have been great. Instead, it just plays the regular werewolf music. So to be fair, werewolf was a very fun concept, but it was poorly executed. It had good graphics, a lot of cool abilities, and an excellent card design, but the poor cutscenes, the bad controls, and difficulty brought down the quality of the game tremendously. And even though the graphics did give the game some variety, and the climbing and backflip was pretty cool that the werewolf could do, the game could have been improved, such as making the climbing a bit easier, the backflips not so broken, and the jumping better, alongside a more forgiving and not so cheap level design. If these things were improved, this would have been a great beat em up side scroller. Otherwise though, it's completely mediocre. And there you have it for today. Have yourselves a good day.